What's cracking guys, welcome back to the Tring Shoe Repair channel. If you're new here, my name is Dan. Now today's quick little video is going to be a tutorial video. I'm going to show you seven ways to protect your shoes and make them last longer. So make sure to stick around to the very end because I promise you, you won't have seen the last tip. So let's jump into it. Okay guys, once again, welcome back. So this video is gonna be short and sweet. I just wanted to do a tutorial for you. Haven't done a five, six, seven ways to do things video before, so I thought I'd start off with a nice simple one. So, ladies boots, gents boots, shoes, whatever you've got, it's always a shame when you try your best to look after your shoes, uh, you know, stop them getting scuffed and such, and they just wear out a little faster than you would have hoped. So these seven tips I'm gonna give you are gonna help you prolong the life of your shoes and just increase the shoe health a little bit. So let's start off with tip number one. So tip number one is to use a product that you'll have seen me using a lot throughout my videos, and that is a good quality leather shoe cream or a leather balm. So obviously it's just for leather. Now what this does is it protects the uppers. You're gonna put it directly on the uppers of the shoe. I may as well show you whilst I'm talking to you about it. I've got a nice Gucci here. Pop it on, it's a conditioner, okay? You can literally use your fingers or a cloth, rub it straight in. So what this does, it's the same as putting moisturizer on your skin. It's gonna soak into the fibers of the leather and hydrate them. So this is gonna stop it cracking mostly. It's also going to help prevent creasing. I would do this about once a month, I would say, or, uh, or just whenever you feel they're getting a little bit dry. So the cream I just used on those Gucci's is the Woli Creme Essentielle. It's my preferred cream to use in the shop. Uh, Saphir have a very high quality Creme Universal as well, but it's quite pricey. Uh, now, if you want to grab this, you can get both of these products on our online store. It might not be live yet, just at the time of this video, but if it is, I'll leave a link just at the top there and you can grab it along with all the other stuff that we stock in the shop. Second tip is dead easy, dead quick, and it's something that you can use on all footwear, even things like this, Nubuck, suede, or leather, and that's going to be a protector spray. So this is a Dasco instant protector. You're just gonna spray it on, and it's gonna give you an element of waterproofing and stain guard, so you would put this on before you go out on a rainy day, or, or even just once a week. Now you have got the option, same as the creams, to just amp it up a little bit with, this is something called a nano protector. It just gives you a, a more reinforced, tougher stain guard. So, you know, if you're worried about getting things like red wine and stuff, this nano protector is gonna do the trick for you. Oh, hello. Every shoe that I'm showing you is already a custom shoe that I've just fixed. Tip number three, cheeky shoe treats. So shoe trees, for those of you that don't know, I'm guessing a bunch of you do know, are a shaped frame that sits inside your shoe, has a spring on the end to create tension, and it pushes the shoe into its original shape. So what is the point of those shoe trees? Well, I'm going to tell you, YouTube gang, as you wear your shoes, which I'm guessing you're going to do, as you take a step, the shoe's gonna flex and you're gonna get creases in the upper, which is not the end of the world. But if you want the creases to, uh, if you want to minimize the creases, you pop your shoe tree in, it forces the uppers back into the original shape where there are no creases. So you're kind of mitigating the effects of the crease by reversing it. So um, what's really good as well is once you have the shoe tree in, if you put some of the nourishing cream in now, that's the ideal way to kind of keep them in that condition, you know, flat. Secondly with shoe trees, and equally important in my opinion, you can get plastic shoe trees which are cheaper, but you're best to get a good quality wooden shoe tree which is typically made of cedar. Now the reason for this is that cedar wood is absorbent, so when you put it in the shoe, it's going to absorb all the moisture which comes from your horrible sweaty feet. But we want the moisture on the shoe tree and not inside your shoe because moisture over time can hurt your shoes. It can cause the linings to crumble and the footbed to swell up and crumble also. So tip number four guys is gonna tie in real nicely to the shoe trees and that is to rotate your shoes. Obviously, I'm just kidding. But what I do mean by rotate your shoes is rotate through your collection of shoes. Don't wear the same pair of shoes or boots two days on the trot. And the reason for that is back to the moisture issue. So even without a shoe tree to absorb some of the moisture, it's a good idea to let the shoes breathe and dry out overnight or else you just accumulate that moisture and cause damage to the insides. And not only that, it also gives bacteria a really good environment to thrive, which is what causes 
smelly shoes. And the second point is back to the creases also. So as I said, you cause the creases in the shoe. Before you worry about me creasing a customer's shoe, this is mine, I just took it off. I'm wearing one shoe at the minute. It's the same old issue. When you wear it every day and you cause that flex, you're hammering home that stress pattern and almost teaching the leather to stay that way. So even without shoe trees, it's a good idea to let the shoes and the uppers rest overnight so they can relax. The fibers will relax and ease back to how they originally were. So you're not just hammering home that same old crease day to day. So tip number five, that's another easy one that you can do the most shoes, especially ladies shoes, and that is stick on soles or sometimes called sole guards. You hear other people talking about now they come in all sorts of funky colors. We got some pink ones here, got some natural, and you might have seen us putting on the glossy red mirror soles for the lubes. So the whole point of a stick on sole is honestly just extra protection to stop your sole wearing out. So you put that on the bottom. It's very thin, you don't particularly notice it, but it's gonna take some of the wear and tear that the original sole would normally take. Now what they also do is add a good element of grip. So some people will have them added just for grip if the soles are particularly shiny and slippery. So not only are they protecting your shoes, but they're protecting you from making a complete tit of yourself and falling over on your ass. So a stick on sole is a very quick, easy job to do. So if you want it doing, pop into your local cobbler, give them some business, and I'm sure they'll do it for you. If you are interested in having the red mirror soles on lubes, just check with your cobbler first that they're happy to do it. Uh, and if not, you can always send them to me via mail order. So tip number six, we're getting a little bit industrial now, talking about how you can make alterations to your shoes and boots, typically just for gents' shoes. And we are talking about metal work, brass toe plates, and quarter steel heels. So start with a heel. Now, instead of having a plain rubber heel or a leather heel, we've got this metal corner built into the new heel. So that's gonna go on the outside edge of the shoe, which is where most people tend to walk heavy and wear down first. So it's gonna increase the uh, amount of time that the heel is going to wear. Now, the only downside is they do make a bit of a clacking noise as you walk and they can be slippery when wet. And moving on to the toe plates, we've got two brands that we use in the shop. We've got the Lulu French Tips and the Triumph brass toe plates. Now, if you're one of my subscribers, you'll have definitely seen me using these, but if not, have a look at this footage because I haven't got any to show you today. What we do to fit the toe plate is cut a recess away in the leather, and then the metal work is going to sit in flush with the toe. So it's not bumpy, it doesn't sit on top, but it is going to increase the life of the shoe. Now, before we had these, we had Blakey toe plates, which were just slim metal toe plates that sat right on top of the sole and were tacked in, which are fine, but this is a more premium option to go for if you can. Okay guys, so that is it for the main tips, but for tip number seven, which I'm really excited to show you because I know you haven't seen it before, we actually need to head out of the shop for me to show you. So let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are for tip number seven. What you're gonna wanna do is package your boots up in a box or a bin bag, grab yourself a spade and start digging. All right, so we've dug our hole, and the reason we've dug a hole is because we're gonna bury our boots. All right, so now we've buried our boots. They're gonna last flipping ages. I mean, you won't be able to wear them. No one will know you own them. You can't enjoy them, but they'll last a really long time. All right, guys, that is it. That is the end of the tutorial. I hope you don't mind me being a little bit silly. I just really wanted to dig a hole. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you gained something from this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. It also really helps me with the channel. And if you happen to be new today, make sure to subscribe and do new videos all the time. And if you're one of my regulars, make sure to hit the notifications bell so you are kept in the loop every time I release a new video. Now I've got to crack on guys, I've got loads of shoes to be getting on with, but I will just finish by saying if you have a shoe repair that you're interested in us working on, message us via the Facebook page and we can discuss your job and see what we can do for you. But until then, thank you so much for watching again and I'll catch you next time. Tip number three. Sexy shoe trees. Sexy shoe trees. Cheeky shoe trees.